Today I'm just doing a little flight on my own. I haven't flown in a while, especially I haven't flown in the left seat in a while. So I thought I'd go up and just maybe do a few landings, make sure everything, uh, keep current on everything. Hong Kong ground, Skyline 164, Sierra Juliet, on the south ramp at Alpha, ready to taxi. Skyline 164, Sierra Juliet, Hong Kong ground, runway 2, taxi via Alpha. Runway 2, taxi via Alpha, 164, Sierra Juliet. All right, over to tower. All right, those, we're gonna do our question mark checklist. Landing light, strobe light, we've already set that. Flaps are to take off, fuel pump on, full prop, not quite full rich, and we are on the fullest tank. Trim is to take off. Cockroach Tower, 526 Delta Sierra, holding short of two, ready to go. Diamond Star, 6 Delta Sierra, northeast departure approved, runway two, clear for takeoff. Takeoff on two, 526 Delta Sierra. All right, here we go. All right, I want to go over some of the common mistakes I've been seeing with students. First one starts on the takeoff roll. This plane is a free castering nose wheel, so you're, you're using the rudder to control where the plane's going. So there's a little bit of a lag. If you get happy feet or dance on the pedals, as, as the terms go, the plane will go all over the place. It needs to be slow, steady pressure. All right, we're good. Feet on the floor. Here we go. Starting out with a little right rudder. All right, she's pulling to the right. We're going to give her a little left. Her on the center line. Just slow, easy movements. And rotate. All right, number two mistake I've seen a lot. I don't know why, but a lot of students left the left, left wing drop right after rotation. Ah, a little bumpy today. Um, I don't know if that's because they came from playing with the yoke and something's different, but try to keep those wings level. We've got 40 feet of wings. We don't want them touching the ground. Contact All right, ground. flaps Sky coming up. 6 4 Sierra Juliet, Alpha, runway 2, ready for departure. And RPM's coming back. Skyline 164 Sierra Juliet, Roger, and work on your release now. Standing by 164 Sierra Juliet. All right, so we're going to pull the RPMs back to 24. That's mistake number three. I've had students who pull the manifold pressure back to get their RPMs back to 24. That's not going to result in a very good time. Constant speed prop. It's going to try its hardest to maintain constant speed. If you're pulling that manifold back, um, you're going to pull it a long way back to lose that speed, and it's not going to be a good day. Altitude. All right, so now that we've come back with our RPMs, we've got our flaps up, we're going to do an initial lead. This is often missed on our climb checklist. Skyline 164 Sierra Juliet, fly runway heading, maintain 3,000. Runway 2, clear for takeoff. A runway heading, maintain 2,000, 164 Sierra Juliet. Now we're just going to bring her back to about 1475 on the EGT. Heading, 164 Sierra Juliet. All right, we're going to climb up 3,000. Little, little hazy today. And we'll stay at 3,000 until we get out from under the Bravo. All right, there's 3,000. Double her off, pull our power back. All right, we'll run about 23 square. That's 23 inches, 2,300 RPMs. Chapter 1687, Charlie, Conco Ground, clear to the Mike Quebec Yankee Airport via the Knights 2 departure, then as filed. And then we maintain 3,000. They expect 8,000 within one zero minutes. Departure 128.32, squawk 7250. All right, so we've covered some of those common mistakes. Too happy on the rudder pedals on takeoff. There's a little bit of lag. You can't go too quickly on the rudder pedals. She'll be all over the place. Letting the left wing dip on rotate for whatever reason. Uh, not doing the initial lean after we pull our RPMs back and get our flaps up. And pulling the manifold pressure back instead of the RPM lever. I know, that's all right on takeoff. That's Saturated task moment, a lot of people miss a lot of things there. Alright, once we get out from under the Bravo, uh, I'm going to go over something that even CFI's missing this plane, uh, stalls. And some other planes, you'll establish an attitude, whatever it may be, say 20 degrees pitch up, and just hold on to that until the plane stalls. That will not work in this plane, unless you really yank her back. We'll just sit there and buff it forever and never stall. 
like I say, unless you really jerk your back, which is too much. A technique that I like the best is you will continually apply back pressure fully until she stalls, until she breaks. She'll go right through the buffer to the brake. Just keep pulling Take back. Six, four, one. Runway two, clear for takeoff, remain on runway heading for now. The only time I would stop back pressure if I got so far back that I started seeing red chevrons here that told me I'm approaching my maximum pitch angle for this plane, then I would let her back. But just a slow back pressure, keep her going until she breaks, then release the back pressure. Unless you like being in the buffet for an extended uh, period of time. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people do that. All right, so let's run through the stall. As I said, we're going to continually pull the stick back until she actually breaks. We're not going to establish a pitch and hold on to it unless you want to stay in the buffet. So I've done my clearing turn. We're slowing her down. Do a power off stall. All right, we're down below flap speed. Go full prop. All right, get our second notch of flaps in. All right, there's the power back. We're gonna pitch down. Her build to about 75, approach speed. All right, and then we're gonna start pulling her back. Pulling her back, and pulling her back. And pulling her back, there's the buffet. And there's the stall. If you can call it that. It basically just kind of stops buffeting. But I continued that back pressure all the way through. That's specific to this plane, so that's not a general tip. All those tips are specific to this plane. Hopefully they help if you're flying a DA-40. Hopefully they give you a little bit of uh, insight into things to do and not to do. And uh, we've got some big things coming up. We're going to take the plane for an annual tomorrow. We're going to film that. We're going to change out the wingtip lights. And uh, we've got some different things coming up. So hopefully you'll come back and see what we, uh, what we got going on. Concord Tower 526, Delta Sierra, 10 Northeast with Romeo, inbound full stop. Concord 526, Delta Sierra, Concord, runway 2, right down 1. Right down 1 for 2, 526, Delta Sierra. Concord Tower 526, Delta Sierra, right down 1 2. 526, Delta Sierra, runway 2, clear land. Clear land, runway 2, 526, Delta Sierra. 